gentlemen of King's Cup, we have our first draft All of right. uh, the season. Let's get into it. King's Cup season, at least. So Ooh, here we drow are. Drow first, man. We talked about this. Yeah, a lot of discussion about Drow bleeding out from the Star Ladder match. So what, what was happening there? Uh, basically, this hero has been second phased since TI. Uh, it's just kind of like a, aha, you can't pick Winter Wyvern to counter me because it's probably banned in the first two phases. So therefore, I'm just a Drow against... There's not many carries right now that, that do what you want a carry to do, which is basically you have some guy go to the lane, probably lose the lane, and then come back in the game. Drow is like literally perfect for that sort of style. Uh, you, then you just are guaranteed to win the other lanes because of the Drow aura. So it just went into the first phase. People are picking like Wyvern Drow, so that way... They don't get wyverned in response, and now it's literally just getting banned because people don't want to deal with Drow, which yep. is very reasonable. And this is the familiar face, or should I say two faces, Ogre. <laughs> He's pretty much played as four, five, even three. Still yeah. yet to see him played as a core. Really annoying to play against this 60% multicast. Yeah. <laughs> pretty much changed, changed everything about the hero. Jenkins, I have you here, and since we're on the talk of Ogre, I want to bring up a fun piece of history here. Uh, when you were playing on Leviathan back at Summit 2. Oh, I was telling Trent about this last <laughs> night. Uh, <laughs> I was telling Trent. Wasn't there, I don't think it was your team, but in that run, another notable team, Root Gaming at the time, with like Tolera yeah. and them, they used to your be boy, like ogre players. They okay, used to be, okay. They used to run ogre mid, right? Oh, they yeah. were, yeah. They were, they were, they were like dude, the ogre mid players. Ogre was huge back then, dude. What I was actually telling Trent last night was that I was the number one ogre on Dota Bob. <laughs> like, <Right>, yeah. <laughs> Because because I would literally just run in and pretend to be like an illusion, get hit by towers, bait people, and I would just act like a total idiot just because it was I, like, I was trying to make my team laugh. And then I looked on Dota Buff, I'm number one because that's like the best way to play Ogre, it's just be an that, idiot. You that's how OP the hero was, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was OP too at the time, yeah. <laughs> the like, armor and health regen. Yeah, they were, that. they were they were running at mid and and just like multicasting people for their entire HP pools and stuff like that. I meant favorite. because you were number one on Dota Buff, but oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh no no, I was just I was just <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was, but the. That that here that I mean I don't know how he's th thick. L I know I know Lacoste doesn't like that hero. You you were. I'm not a big fan of the heroes that rely on RNG. It's uh, <laughs> like chaos. Yeah, I just night don't like it uh, throughout Ogier. the history of not Dota. your style. Yeah. yeah. The um other big. Hero. I need consistency. I need consistency in my life. Uh, <laughs> I need so maybe that's, that's yeah, you picked the right like career, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah right? No one thing is consistent. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> we get uh, we have the one bug. What about the uh, the spider bug? Because. Mm. Oh yeah, Broodmother. This is yeah, kind you of guys a were a like oh, that hero. Yeah, oh, yeah. Runes and Broodmother is certainly a thing, but I'm not oh, saying a ban anywhere. Uh, yeah, that's kind of insane. I mean, Monkey's Forever is possibly the best bro Broodmother in North America. Like he's he's obsessed with that hero. It's so basically in the world. It's yeah, yeah. it's it's so cancerous. Man. Is it better than his Batrider? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh for sure. You know, I God. actually there's there's this guy that I coach. He's like a European dude, and he he has been playing on like NA servers, like trying to queue into me and like Newsham and stuff. Uh, and he said, I cannot stand this server. Everybody just last picks Brood and Alk. And I'm like, yeah, get used to it. Brood, Alk, Huskar, like those are the picks. Mm. And Monkeys Forever is half of the reason that that is true. <laughs> <laughs> like, actually, dude, Monkeys is the last pick in Brood every game. He man. just hangs on one hero every game as long as oh. he can get away with it. Usually. Oh, yeah. No, if mm. he can get away with something, he'll, he'll get away with it. He'll try to get away with it. And they will go for it in this game for sure, absolutely, if, if it's not if it's Yeah, not but banned. we should do something about the pop games concerning that because... Once someone picks Hoskar or Broodmother as the last pick, you pretty much always lose. You that pretty much game. lose. Yeah, I think it's the really I think the solution is we should all queue US East tonight and just feed couriers down mid just to punish people. Yeah, all right, that sounds. Are you guys down? You guys are down for that? Yeah. Okay. I, I have a good behavior score, so I'm down for it. Yeah, because you can. You're not going to get a low priority or yeah. anything like that. Yeah, but how about last night when we just won because that guy tenth picked Hoskar versus the TA? Oh, mid. the TA, dis <laughs> the TA disconnected. Yeah, <laughs> it's a really good strat actually. If the if the enemy team disconnects, you just unpause and then yeah. keep, keep playing. It yeah, works and really then you'll, well you'll, for us. Then you'll actually win your lane because there's nobody laning against you. Yeah, so. I think they should do that in this game. Okay. They could. They could definitely. They could definitely go for that. I think. Yeah. Um, I mean, where's complexity's team house at? Florida? No, it's no, Texas that, yeah. now. Yeah, Texas, right? Because yeah. they're they're big they're now. They're, big. they're, they're cowboys. They're Yeehaw. cowboys now. <laughs> That's it? right. They're on Dallas. <laughs> they're watching some Sunday night football. They got the Kikonas <laughs> out right now. The Envies, the Limps, the Snake Kings, Z Freaks, and the Gorksies. They're <laughs> there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bruce this is gone. this is devolved. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> I've actually been super excited to watch this complexity team. Envy back on support since the no Tidehunter days, right? Yeah. Pretty oh, much. Oh, they banned the brood. But yeah, he's he's like an insane support player. It just fits his 
his personality perfectly. He wants I to. Think. I imagine he wants to call. He wants to 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 be the voice of the team, right? Yeah. yeah. And everyone always says it's easiest to be Although, done in the support. But position. the problem is you have to give up control when you play support. Like you you have control of direction of the game, but you're not the person who actually does that move. You're not the guy who blinks in and does the stun. You're not the guy who does the actual action. So then, like, I think giving up that last bit of control is what's really hard for Envy. I yeah, that's like. true. Um, another thing that I that I have heard a lot of people talking about recently too is that like c cores now call the rotations and stuff past the early game, so it is more of like a he has a, he has a lot of control in the early game as a support and he can captain in the early game, which I think he's great at doing. Uh, and you can like captain strategically and stuff, but like. The cores honestly have the strength in the game, so like the cores need to be the ones calling. But you have like limp, limp snaking. I mean, Gorgsy. I don't. Know, he's he's a standard. But like limp and snaking are two people who are like very confident in their, in their play, and they they would be very capable of, of and making. Snaking's calls. very vocal. Oh god, yeah. When oh god, plays. yeah. He's vocal. Yeah. I mean, he's very he's very vocal in, in Oh pub. god, yeah. He's vocal. I mean, I, j I get him in pubs. <laughs> the, the guy just like not nonstop. Oh, like, pub vocal too. Like if you get okay. if you get E or if you get snaking in a game in, in a in a pub, it's just a snaking game. It's just an EE they want to win. Yeah, so which is bad. which is good. Because like you go and you can learn a, l a lot of stuff from what they're calling, which is great. Um, definitely, uh, they 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 talk. There's a lot of people who don't like that. Is there There's people who join and go, oh no, and they just like they probably maybe. I would say hold. more so with snaking. People are like, mm. my god, dude, shut up, <laughs> <laughs> keep talking. Whereas whereas with en with envy, it's like pe people like envy stream. Like they're they're everybody's like an yeah. envy fanboy. But with with snaking, it's like he's not quite at the level of like everybody watches his stream. So it's like, my god, this guy needs to stop talking. I love it because you're just learning stuff from these guys. Yeah, you know? yeah, that'd be crazy. Man, got the Z Freak Rubik. This is a great game for it too. I mean, you just see Weaver. Honestly, and I'm good to go. Yeah. Like, Weaver Wyvern. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. uh, that's some some good mm. Rubik game right there. That support duo too, Z Freak and Envy's got to be. I mean, Z Freak's always been such a stand up four. He's been a great four. Z Freak and, is uh, one of those ridiculous players that just has like he's like rank 500, but. He yeah. should be ranked twenty or something. He just doesn't play pubs. Yeah, he's just naturally good at everything. Yeah, so and get all games too. Yes. He seems like a guy who picks yes. up a game and he's just freakishly good at it. I hate people like that. Man. I had a friend in high school who was like that. His name's Hiram, and he was just really <laughs> damn good at every I, game. He I played. hate Hiram. I don't even know who he is. I hate yeah. him. Did Can't you have a friend him. like that? Just good at every game they played. Were you that kid? Nah, no, you weren't. Nah. That was definitely was me. I, I, I shit on all my friends in you every did? game. Yeah. I was. Yeah. 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 All right. I gotta Good say I don't like the <laughs> support duo on complexity, Rubik and Bane. Pretty much everything's uh, single target. Mirana as well has a Star Storm, but uh, looks like. Uh, yeah, and we have. Oh, a well, speaking of RNG, RNG heroes, that is interesting. Mm. So more single target, unless she gets Battle Fury and Cleave Talent. <laughs> That's that's reaching. That's a definitely the play. Picking yeah. PA into Winter Vyvern yes. kind of <laughs> looks that's suicidal. I mean, even uh, even Earth Spirit has a lot of uh, magic damage. That, like, you would usually want a PA in a game where it's really hard to get through her evasion, because uh, that's basically all of her defense. And, and and yet Earth Spirit, he just doesn't care. You know, whenever you have a hero that just doesn't care at all, it's like, well, what's the point of the PA? So I'm really I'm really wondering like what what their purpose is for this. There's obviously a purpose. Is it like I feel like it would be a mag kind of deal because like they're missing the the AOE and they have no way to buff the PA at the moment. Which yeah, is pretty rare. But I highly doubt mag's gonna get through. Is mag like in a, th a thing in Dota right now? Because I, I love mag. He's kind of a he's thing. There's some teams that are picking. He kind of needs that partner like the mag Windrunner lane where you just like empower and her and harass. Sarah Jessica Parker. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Never mind. Uh, <laughs> we drove past the a horse crossing earlier. You know? I don't know. <laughs> oh, God <laughs> damn. Oh my All right. God. Listen. <laughs> I'm glad we made it. may come after me, but Sarah Jessica Parker is coming after you guys, God. okay? <laughs> you kind of pronounced uh, Magnus as Mag. So like Mag. Like oh, okay. female name. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Magnus is fun if you're playing with, uh, let's say, a meter hammer. That I, I like the Wyvern and Meteor Hammer. Speaking of Meteor Hammer, yeah, Trent and I were talking about Wyvern yeah, Meteor Hammer legit. and Axe Meteor Hammer because they're just it, you just have perfect setup for it. And then heroes that like don't do damage to towers either. You can just also do damage to towers. Bloodseeker, that's a pretty hard hero to play PA against because I mean you're just forced to stand still and PA is like constantly running around fights and beating the crap out of people. Yep. So that's uh, definitely a good PA pick or uh, sorry, good Bloodseeker pick. This PA's got issues now. You you are dealing with a Bane Marana though with Bloodseeker. Like the w the way the way that you deal with the Bloodseeker in lane is you pick a kill lane because he will always beat a harass lane because he has so much sustain. He'll beat a sustain lane because the other lanes will do damage and then he'll just kill you. Yeah. So like the way that you beat a Bloodseeker is you just kill him. You want and targeted nukes during Blood Rage. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So you want you want to blow him up in Blood Rage and Bane Marana obviously very capable of that. Although if they pair him with the Winter Wyvern, then the Winter Wyvern can take off his sleep. But 
it's still kind of hard to pull off that combo. That means he like can't leave to pull or anything like that. Timber saw ban. Hmm. I wonder if that says more about is that more for to potentially counter what they have going for them, or to say about what their fifth pick could be. So I think it means that they want a melee fifth yeah. pick that gets like either Brewmaster or Magnus are both going to get completely destroyed by a Timber. I hope a Magnus. I love Magnus. <laughs> I love you know, actually, yeah, Timber's very, very good against Magnus in lane. Yeah, it's crushing. you just crush. So if they if they were to pick Timber, they could just like lane the Bloodseeker against the PA, and then lane the Magnus again, and then put the Weaver mid or something like that. And I uh, don't think Weaver mid is that good. She doesn't have she. I always think it's. I a know she. you always say uh, Weaver's a she. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's like bugs, just bugs, bugs, bugs are just. Yeah. Female, I mean, I, I'm not one to I dispute. I made this statement for multiple times. She makes small babies, so it must be a she. Oh, that's another. That's well, science. then again, Huskar destroys. Timber in lane, but Timber's good in the game against Huskar because you just insta kill him with the with the stat steal from the Whirling Death. Hmm. I'm looking at their Dota buff here. I'm trying to I'm trying to see what they could be what they could be setting up for. I guess one way thing to look for is like who's the Earth Spirit gonna lane with, right? Because you're thinking about like trying to enable this guy, so you need like a super strong laner. And, and I feel like if you do that with Weaver. Weaver, yeah, yeah, Weaver's like kind of okay, but yeah, the Weaver's Enigma Weaver's is one okay. that's Oh, Ember's Ember. okay. So Ember Spirit, Ember mid, Bloodseeker safe lane. So it is Weaver off lane. Uh, with with the Earth Spirit and like you were saying, yeah, you know, like you whenever you pick a, a an Earth Spirit, obviously he's pretty trash in lane. One more Spirit, right? <laughs> you need yeah, exactly. You need you need uh, multi. And I think uh, I think that Complexity should actually pick a Storm Spirit here just in response because, <laughs> um, yeah, makes sense. Has one team ever picked all three spirits together? I don't think it's been done. I, I don't think that's ever been done. It must in have the been. history. I'm of pretty I don't sure think it's ever been. I've never seen. It. I've seen some Storm and Embers together, which shocked me. So if that can happen. But it might be like out of Earth Spirit season or something like that. <laughs> it's just bad. It's weird because Ember and Storm kind of fulfill the same purpose in the game. They don't have much time left and they don't have control. Oh, okay, it is the Magnus. Wow. It is called from early on. That's interesting. They didn't ban it. I mean, obviously they would see that too. So they clearly felt confident enough that whatever lane that Magnus was going into, he's not gonna have a hard time. So yeah, I'm kind I of expecting this Mag to get pooped on. I yeah, I think uh, I think Bloodseeker is gonna do perfectly fine against Magnus. It's uh. I mean, it really depends on how the other lanes are going. I mean, it's though. BSJ. It's a BSJ special. That is Let's true. not forget that this is man true. sells lessons about Bloodseeker. I imagine those are expensive too, so he must be very good. expensive. Unless you got the promo code, Gorus Earth Spirit. Now this is a, a a Gorg hero. Like this is one of his things. Yeah. The PA. So feeling pretty good on it. I was kind of picturing like limp in my head almost because I feel like I've seen him play quite a bit too. But yeah, that's the thing is I wonder yeah. if they catered at all to Gorg's play style or hero preferences or if they just are expecting him to kind of fill the void on the team or not like they're like do you play this yeah, hero I mean it's yeah. xyz okay you it's know cool. what cool. item he's gonna go for manta style you want to bet that sounds good uh yeah that's maybe Ma seems tell me good. your reasoning i played a couple of games with him uh when he played phantom assassin he just loves that item oh yeah yeah and uh, do you think he, he would even get it of, in uh, this game silences get rid of the root also kill the bugs yeah kill the, the bugs quickly i'm sure yeah. envy would be like yeah sure <laughs> seems like a envy well, would be down you need, you need approval of envy can i I don't can know. I please Andy, go for can I please <laughs> have a Manta, sir? <laughs> I don't know. If he'd be like, I'm thinking about getting Manta, guys. And I'm sure and he'd be like, yeah, great, go for it. I, you know, I, get, do, I, I do get, you know, X, Y, and Z on this hero. Doesn't I do matter. hear he's a very controlling captain. In a good way, though. He's, you know, like a PPD. He's, oh, he's like okay. a drill sergeant, so that's uh, that's possible. I don't know with these players, though, if you'd want to be bossing the old snake king around. Dude, as he long as he's telling his cores to buy BKBs, I'm down. Yeah. So that, that's, that's the real issue, let's be honest. That is that is the biggest issue with cores. Yeah, that, that's the issue that never ends. Yeah. Like, that's from, like, zero to, to infinite item, MMR. Man. It's so boring. Boring King Bear. <laughs> exactly. Boring dude. King Bear. All right, here we go, gentlemen. Our very first game of King's Cup Season 2, America. Let's get into it now. Well, Complexity is going to have a problem dealing with uh, both Weaver yeah, and Ember complete. Spirit. Both elusive heroes, pretty hard to catch. And the only stun they have is Rubik plus big cooldown on RP. There's also Bane's Fiend's Grip, but I don't think that's enough. They also have a lot of stuff to cancel all those spells. It's always weird when you have a, a bunch of elusive heroes on one team and a bunch of single target, because it's like, well, you can't use your stuns on everyone, so. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean, enjoy? So Zephyr gives a good luck, have fun, limp, enjoy. I mean, Monkey started calling him out, like, what's that supposed to mean, limp? 30 seconds what would enjoy mean? Nobody knows, D. Do you have any traditions when you start a game, like uh, for your GLHFs? Do you like to have a capital G every time? Do you like to? Uh, yeah, I like to take poops before the game, so that way I don't have uh, anxiety. 
Why like would you type good luck <laughs> during that? Okay. Well, okay. I don't get it. Since, I mean, since Warcraft 3 days, why would you type good luck in a chat? So he, he's gonna get the arcane rune, region rune, then you're gonna whine after how that's imbalanced. He's gonna crit you five times in a row because you said the fucking good luck. Don't well, say as long as the other team gives you good luck, then it equals out. Then it's oh, a that's double a fair negative, point. You know? it, it really should have been bad luck, though. Versus a PA, I feel like you should make that adjustment. That bad is, luck, be true. miserable. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Got him, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm an edgelord. This Phantom Assassin Arcana plus this uh, Immortal, that's one of the best looking sets in game. Oh, look at those. The <laughs> sparks cut. flying off. Aggressive. Oh my goodness, Boris. Damn, he's going to have to TP. Dude, get out of here. That's his that's Welcome his to complexity, nerd. And they just kick him right out. Gorg C. They're trying that's to they're trying to tilt the stand in cuz they know he's not he's not invested. So you just get this. Just he's get not this. on a payroll. So no, he's not. <laughs> he is connected. <laughs> he doesn't care. Welcome to the big leagues. That's a pretty solid strategy. So we have the uh, Bane and Marana separated. Mm. As it'll be the Rubik and the Marana down bottom. Th that's a great combo. Just separate them so they can't unsleep exactly, from the combo. Dude. Yeah, this is the next level play. <laughs> <laughs> if there's no chance of anything happening at all, then there's no chance of it failing. Well, this looks pretty good for the Magnus, though. You get a 1v1 versus an Ember. I actually have no idea how this matchup goes. I imagine it's probably Magnus' favor because, because he has the physical. <laughs> there's definitely a kill threat, though, with like points into. Yeah, like, as the levels sure. go up, I feel like it's more likely there's a burst kill from the Ember. But Magnus Magnus gets a. I mean, he's going for Bracer, too. Like, Magnus actually has quite a lot of strength, and uh, it's, hard to, it's hard to burst a hero that has, like, that 1,000 HP threshold at, like, level 6, you know? Yeah. So I feel like with a Magnus, even if he uses everything on him, he's going to be 20% HP. Just bottle Jeez. up, use look, a shrine. Look at that. One brain sap and a dagger on monkeys. That's a zero armor hero right there. Sorry, two armor. Because he has the... Yeah. So that actually is a casual bracer on Magnus. Yeah. Maybe for later. He can upgrade it to Road of Atos. That's true. The Rod of Atos. I mean, this, that item is really, like, situational on, on some heroes, but uh, it gives a good stat, and it's easy to make. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Root's always handy. You were saying that they, they do lock a lot of the, a lot of the lockdown. Yeah. To, so. Maybe. Although I do see a lot of mid players going for casual bracer. I don't, I'm not entirely sure why. They just, people are favoring it right now. Good stats, I guess. There's just these trends that people... <laughs> Well, not dying means you don't miss out on a lot of experience. Yeah. So living's pretty sweet right about now. It is. It's just about surviving that burst, especially with Ember. You know? Damn, he's got to be careful. Yeah, they're trading. Limp is not giving Ember the extra bit of respect, yeah. saying he can hang. Also, the new trend is to get uh, Splinter Blast level 1 on Winter Vibrant, pretty much before everyone would get Arctic Burn. Mm -hmm. Now you just nuke it because of the dual lanes and just harass, especially if there's a melee hero or two melee heroes, it's always better to have it a hundred damage nuke yeah. plus a slow. They even um they even kinda like patched it to change to change how that works. Like they the mana cost is increased on it and then also it takes a lot longer to get level two. Like the main purpose of that is essentially to get level two first, then you push your advantage. They um, um they really need that harass in the wyvern too, because the other lanes are pretty bad for general like uh, thirst for the Bloodseeker. Now, every time Winter Wyvern has Arctic Burn, Bloodseeker should use Blood Rage on him, so he can harass way more than he normally oh should. Oh yeah, actually, that's a sick yeah. combo. Yeah, it would do a uh, lot. I played a lot of that in my pubs, that specific combo. How's top lane doing? Boris, level 2, almost level 3, with uh, Weaver closing to level 3. Once uh, she gets to level 3, it's yeah, we get be it. <laughs> a lot easier to score a kill <laughs> with one point in bugs. You know, I always think Bane's a girl. Since yeah, right now she's on bird control, so she can't use the swarm. <laughs> oh, that explains <laughs> it. <laughs> always anxious to watch the Earth Spirit. I, I love playing a lot of Earth Spirit myself, but I always feel like he's like, you know, he's got got to get a lot happening oh, in the early oh, game. Oh, he doesn't really oh, farm oh. that fast on his own, and you only hit like the early game peak, and then maybe a peak at level six when you have your magnetize all good to go. Yeah, I know you love Overthrow, but your heroes are terrible in Overthrow. Like, Earth Spirit is one of the absolute Oh, I worst. would never play him in Overthrow. I yeah, know, you, but you, you run out of stones, and then you're sitting the there like a dumbass. The blood of King's Cup? Just kidding. Psych. Yeah, that's what you get. Is it going to be on Gork, too, the new guy? Yeah, they, they really... Nobody wants to give away the first blood of King's Cup, man. They'll be shamed. Yeah. And sent to the guillotine. They'll be beheaded. I am in your debt. 
It's interesting to see how Roamers play in this patch, because it's like, obviously Earth Spirit is good in this game, but in the lanes, I mean, he's kind of useless. Yeah. But yeah, it's like, it, there. it's w it's arguably worth it, though, because the hero is good in the game, you know? And uh, it's interesting to just see how people yeah. play it in the lane to kind of make up for the fact that he's a Roamer and you don't really want to roam that much in this patch. Obviously, he was at his best when the mid lane options were really easy to roam on, maybe yeah. like a Shadow Fiend or something of the nature. But uh, you know, times were good. Out. That's the problem in this game because uh, they have a mid hero who can use skewer and just uh, yeah. run back, so he can't really threaten mid lane like that. Also, doesn't have a point in the silence yet. If they play aggressive on the top lane, get a kill or two, then he can leave Eber alone and try to make Ooh, some space. RP. First one of the game. Lip going for the skewer back under the tower. Hot shots coming in onto Ionila, and there it is. The first flood. It's going to be acquired by Complexity. Damn, that was nice teamwork. That's that's the uh, that's like the advantage that you gain for getting a couple of denies over, yeah. like this this, you know this he has one extra deny exactly one extra deny ten extra last hits and Ember had to leave the lane for a little bit gets level six first kills Ember so now that's like but such, we don't know. such a huge advantage if it was ranged or melee uh oh the awkward moment when you miss your roll and you're stuck under the tower I've seen it far too many times Boris <laughs> and he may pay the price for it here one more shot from the tower should secure it. Yeah, oh. it's tough. They, they killed BSJ too, fought him. Oh. Ooh. Simultaneous takedown as uh, BSJ does get dropped. He's back now, but. Are you kidding me? The tips, the all chats. Yeah, the, our prized uh, Fable chat wheel is gone, but doesn't stop the uh, hero chat lines. Thank I you. love the Dota Plus lines. They're great. There's so many good heroes. Like, I, it makes me want to play heroes just to get and unlock those. You know, like, Witch Doctor's garbage now, but I still play Witch Doctor just to spam his lines. <laughs> oh, the hero's so good. All right, Z-Freak on the bad end of uh, gank here. Complexity. complex. So get the roll over as Boris finishes that one off. They get themselves on the board. Interesting to see that he opts not to use the wand chargers just because he knows he's dead. Dyer's like anticipating he's going to use attack. them in the future. A lot of the time you'd see, like, a lower-skilled player just, like, using the wand chargers yeah. and... Not you like g or good flaming players. him right now, going oh he had stick. No 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 no. Yeah, I swear it's it, it's pre it's Z freak. It's pre. No I know exactly. It's a hundred percent. He knows what he knows what he's doing. That's a fast blood seeker. Yeah, pretty much everyone's on the pile of HP. Oh yeah, beat his ass. All right. Ooh. Double star fall leaping in. Boris though jumps in from behind. Snakey commits him with the leap, but Z freak's yeah. right there. They really want to save his reveal until. BSJ was six though. So like he just had to reveal his position just for the save. Oh! They have to bail him out with a heal. The faithful is just a bit too much. This is, re this is really good for complexity. There's just three people down here trying yeah. to defend. And them. they're getting bullied back. Yeah. It's also action at the top is they'll get the finish onto monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, monkeys is always so on point with the chat wheels. Whatever. Right, here we go. I played with him. We would always spam the crybaby chat wheel. <laughs> I thought at first the soundboard was like hooked up over there. I'm like, damn, that was a quick one over there, Trent. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying. My man, Trent. <laughs> <laughs> All right, four to one complexity. A 2K start right here. Even we sport in their stand in as JO's out at the moment. Stand in for their stand in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Magnus second. is both invis and hasted, but they know they have the vision on the room, so they're just going to wait it out. Damn, did he want for the treads, too? Oh, he almost saw that courier. RP the courier. That's a worth play. That is totally worth, dude. It's although, worth in King's Cup. Although if they just uh, pre <laughs> they, press, yeah. press the fort button, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be quick uh, on that one. You do. Okay, oh. let's try to set something up again onto I Annihilate in the mid lane here. I don't think it's possible. Yeah, we'll need extra assistance, bother. obviously, but no call will be made. And he just kind of does a bit of a roundabout without really getting anywhere. Also, it's interesting build. He decided to go for two points in secure. Not oh sure yeah, that, that is was intentional. That's a little more old school, right? That used to be kind yeah. of the standard. Rotations to the bottom. Action's beginning to kick off. Moves on to snaking. BSJ a bit low, oh my but God. How's will he get still level off? five. He needs <laughs> one experience to get level six. Okay, I was gonna say because he's been so <laughs> close. Oh my God! <laughs> oh, oh yeah, unfortunate. It hurts. Dude, complexity new, dude. That's our, they're punishing it. <laughs> like he has one Z three. Go 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 go. Yeah, they knew, dude. Oh, it's level nine, Magnus. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! He's one by uh, one, they fall. 
So he's, he's actually off. maxing the, that skewer. It was not a misclick. Hmm. Diamond Maybe it's to take off the Ember Shield. Yeah, I was thinking about it. That's pretty. That's pretty cool. He's also not ever near the PA at the moment, so he doesn't really need the levels and power at this point. Yeah. So it's yeah, I don't think he's gonna go for more points because he has enough. 500, 300 Shockwave plus 210 in skewer. That explains it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Radiant's bottom tower it's before reductions. Like reductions don't do Dyer anything. Right. Scanning. Ooh, scans out as an approach. Bounce Comes forward here. You can feel the. Both supports on runes level four, and both of these heroes kind of need the tome. But I, I suppose the Earth Spirit is going to be the one buying it because he can do so much more with his ulti. Yeah, this is the awkward feeling moment. You're, there's no one you're going to gank on your own, certainly here if you're Earth Spirit, and then you just got to hold out till you get magnetized online. What do you, what do you do in a game like this, Dakota, when you're Earth Spirit level four at? Ten minutes. Yeah, you roll with your your homeboys here you and hope that you can get a setup on some sort yeah. of lingering Moran. Does he get silence yet? Yeah, he's got core. one silence, so maybe you could pick a core and lock him down if you time everything out. The arrow. Sleep, silence. No bodyguard there. Jump off, sneaking. Bop. Nice stun, though. We'll cancel it briefly, but they'll still be able to get the swift finish and take down the monkeys. Now they want more. Looking to make the move on to Ionile, who rotated over, and he'll swing his ass right back out. Still for thought onto Jube. He gets off. The heal, can they burst him down? Well, Not quite yet, but Gork will be able to step in and assist on that one. Zephyr gets the nod. He steals it. They're turning back, trying to at least get some sort of counter fire, but they can't get anything going. Envy, confident as ever. Rolling behind, gets Boars and sucks him down. Turn around, oh. Ionile back into action, determined to get something and will finally take it. With a triple retinant play, they will take down the king. Always going for the courier. <laughs> oh, they dangerous play, monkeys. This is the best. Z freak spell you can steal. He's got Sakuchi. They chain down, looking to go for Envy here. Envy still holding on. Rotations are coming. They hit the shrine, and it looks like runes, except that they can't go much further. But this one's still all complexity. They nearly double their net worth advantage. Desert. Magnus now has a blink dagger. They should buy a smoke. Try to make some action. Yeah, they can uh, they can blow somebody up. And it may be Boris. Pull back, skewer, classic. The Rubik Magnus combo. I've seen that like EGM to S4 handoff from Alliance plenty of times <laughs> in my day. That's that just a classic right there. Oh yeah. Beautifully done. Oh, this has got to be such a frustrating game for Boris. He just wants Radiant's level six so badly. Yeah, attack. this game is real. Hard. That's with the book. Yeah. And that's the thing about this like Bane oh, and yeah, Rubik. Yeah, he used the book too. Yeah. Oh, that's. That's rough. Damn, he's having a really rough game. This King's Cup Yikes moment presented by Monster. <laughs> <laughs> also, this is the combo that I like. This Winter Vyvern plus a Bloodseeker. I see a lot of teams uh, using that. You use uh, just Winter Vyvern ulti, follow it up with the Blood Ride, so he's silenced. Yeah. Easy, easy yes. kills. I even I had a sentry down there. I'm not I mean, sure. you can't use it if you're level four. Though. I love, I love. Yeah, that is true. Oh my goodness! Nonstop action. Oh, they get damn. BSJ on the bottom. They're looking to do a two for set up here. Oh, Sleeping the one, sapping the other. Monkeys has got to get finished off. No chance for the ulti. I and Island also got to go down. Oh my God! One by one they fall, gentlemen. Complexity all day. 16 to two now. Yeah, this turning into a real stomp. Uh, Complexity is doing a really good job at pushing their advantage. Like. They see that Boris Radiant's is level 5, and they're just constantly killing yeah. him, preventing him from getting level 6. This is the difference between... Well, th this, is, this is the difference between, like, Just a, say it. Just this, say this is it. the difference between, like, a Tier 1 and a Tier 2 team. A, a, a Tier 1 team will, pu will push an advantage like this to the nth degree, where it looks like this is a stomp, but this game is actually, like... A, if they weren't pushing Radiant's that advantage, this wouldn't be a stomp, you know? Attack. And a lot of teams wouldn't know to push that advantage, but th th that's, that's literally the difference right there. Now they're gonna start killing Winter Vibrant because he just hit level five. Yeah, they actually will. Like they legitimately, they legitimately probably will. It's uh really uh kind of stressful to see. <laughs> they do need to keep the advantage going. Though. I know you keep saying they are pushing the advantage, but I do only see one tower down so far. And you have a tricore lineup on runes. You just never want to. You never want to. Get too easy on you. Yeah, you could. They could That's do like a really nice setup with the Winter Wyvern. Get everybody low. Bloodseeker runs in and kills everybody. All of a sudden, advantage is gone. That is like totally possible. I've seen that so many times with this Bloodseeker hero. Yeah, but Cole, I think, is in what you were talking about before is that they seem to always be on the offensive, though. They're always moving and setting things up with the advantage they have. Yeah, they may not exactly. be doing map advantage, yeah. taking towers, but they are just it's continuing like, um, to push the action. It's like I, I was I was coaching somebody and they compared it to. Uh, 
like the tempo in chess. Essentially, you make a move, and uh, the enemy team has to respond to it. In that response, you get to you. They reveal information. You make a move. They reveal Radiant's information. You make a move. They're, and and that, that's what tier one teams do: is they'll constantly take the information, make the better move, uh, cause you to respond. Snake King's dead bottom, I think. Oh, oh just TP's fallen. out in time. Very close. Try to go for a kill onto the Weaver. Snake Narrow King's escape. playing real aggressive this game. Yeah, he's been playing in that uh, Radiant jungle for so long and just constantly keeping that wave down there. So like they have to dedicate someone there, and then they can't actually put a full force press in this top lane. It's so annoying. Actually, I, I love that playing like that on Morana. It's so safe to do that. Silence, catch onto Z3, hiding behind the tower. He will be the sacrifice, but Complexity oh. are thinking about making a move in. They get a two-man catch from Limp. Shockwave, and they blast him down. They'll get the one. They can't get the finish onto I Annihilate. He's able to jump back and away here. Followed up with a Jubei takedown, and it's going to be three across the board. Damn, dude, I love watching Magnus. Magnus yeah, right? is such a fun hero to watch. What a turnaround. It's either going to be a loud hype, epic, you know, RP ult, or it's going to be a huge epic fail. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's uh, only one or the other with Magnus. <laughs> those are both great. Oh, bottom <laughs> lane. Both of those. Sleep. That's the level four arrow. And He's sleep. I mean, level four. No sleep. mana. Not enough time oh, for the ulti. Oh, mango boy. Oh, he's gonna be fine. He's gonna slither out the other he's side. He's saving right? those mangoes. Oh. oh, there you go. And meanwhile, they're gonna get the takedown. It looks like of limp though. Wow, that's a big kill. Good that's grab really right there. Kill. All the focus towards the bottom means is that there's an opening for BSJ to creep in and get limp from the backside. That's um. That's uh, runes taking back the tempo. They see something happening on the bot lane, so they punish it by doing something elsewhere. That's like exactly what they need to do. Forest? Freak. Dancing around this mid lane has Sakuchi, so a little too Dyer's elusive. You know, there's been alone. quite a bit of hate on Bloodseeker lately because of just like, if you have a bad start like this game, like where does BSJ even go from here? You have to kind of get, either you go straight for the Radiance, and you hope that's enough to carry you back in, or you have to get this blade mail Radiant's and fight, and that it's such like a difficult thing to do as this hero. You hope to the Lord that you, uh, the enemy team is like everybody at 50% HP. Yeah. Nice arrow connection. Nice sleep. Save. Tries to sleep him. Kicks him off to the side for the save. BSJ steps in. That's exactly like Lacoste was talking about. It's a actually kind of hard to lock down these heroes. Is under attack. They have like pseudo disable, but it's not. It doesn't really seem like it's enough. <laughs> the arrow. Oh my god! He so made. they, they, yeah, they totally knew he that made. they were gonna switch it, and they waited until the nightmare got moved over. That was great. It's a stylish, stylish play. I mean, still a sacrifice so that the greater good, uh, who was it? Monkeys was able to make it away, or uh, sorry, I annihilate was able to make it away, regardless of it's death. It's weird to see a wyvern taking it like that though because like a wyvern like wyvern's your most important hero in a fight he's gripped okay rolling from complexity right behind the tower they said with the grip with a quick silence there from boris and now he tries to turn it around while they are going to go for the finish bsj gets to grab onto snake king sorry try to catch action here on the side Borg still fighting it out behind the tower bsj with a double and this might be rune's time they clear out three <laughs> an approach from complexity goes disastrous and they were way too deep and magnus was on a different part of the map, just uh, farming, so no RP, no extra damage from Empower, so PA can get a couple of solo kills Man. before the fight starts. That is such a hard fight to win. Like, you have to be grossly at a position to win that fight as um, Team Runes. It's actually crazy. Yeah. Because it's just like, they have like a full item advantage on you, on all three of their cores right now. It's interesting though, like the the, Mag the Magnus wasn't there, so it technically Runes had the advantage, like a 1k advantage, not including the Magnus. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that is just a free pack. Yeah, should we will the board. They're doing a really good job at defend. Both teams are really prioritizing defending these tier ones, though, and both teams are doing a really good job at defending them. A lot of action, but uh, yeah, not a lot of progression on the map at all. It's also a game where there's not really a super fast Roche happening. Like, there's no mega Roche pressure in it's this one, so we're just kind of ignoring that too. It's kind of strange because, like, Complexity has this uh, PA plus Magnus combo, which is obviously excellent in the late game, but then you have, like, a very strong Tricore in the side of Rune, so mm. I think both of these teams are kind of like, don't worry, guys, just hold our towers and go late game, yeah. and we'll win. I think I'd rather be on the Radiant team simply because you have Wyvern and Earth Spirit, whereas Rubik Radiant's and Bane, I think, have a lot harder true. time having yeah. an impact past 25 minutes. Yeah, and uh, the the, comp the the Earth Spirit with, with Bloodseeker is just ridiculous. He slowly, like, pulse everybody down, and then all of a sudden Bloodseeker's running at haste to movement speed, just like we saw in the last fight. Rupture on the Z-Freak. We'll have to slide a bit out. 
blood right, but he's going to be fine. Approach is coming though. From runes, they want to finally edge they down have a this sentry first there. tower. <laughs> oh my god. They run out and through behind. They are going to get Ionali down in the meanwhile, but we continue chase here. On to Z-Freak. Can they quite catch up? Oh, he has to sidestep. Oh, he's the, the blood oh. Got him. That was a long ass winded chase. Will they get away with their lives though? No! Oh, that arrow. Nice curse to slow him down a bit. BSJ trying to make it out of the way. The blood right. Hides out on the side, Jubei, the self-heal, but they continue their pursuit on the BSJ. Half of them divert off to also go for Jubei, and it looks like they may be able to secure both of them. Jump from limp. There's the finish. Bounty runes, uh, they, they, they take that fight right on the bounties, so. On board is the Brave, he's gonna pick up the bottom bounty. Oh, nice, nice, that's good at least. He's actually level 11, he's not doing too bad. Scouting Eternal Envy. This should be a free kill. Yeah. Yep. It's just a bane, but maybe he was like in a ward or something like that. He's just like walking right into their jungle, so. Yeah, but the good thing is that Boris got the last hit of that. Yeah. There's a lot of farm on the mid if he wants to go for it, getting closer to his Man. dagger he just switched. He's ahead of the dire supports. Yeah. Not sure the spirit vessel is going to do too much. They have no, nothing to heal with, nothing, not a good hero to stop his healing. Yeah, I guess it's like Magnus is pretty tanky and the PA it goes through her evasion and also it's just percentage damage. And helps the Bloodseeker With too. With the Bloodseeker, yeah. It's just more damage trying Radio to get around. Right. Because it does more the higher HP people are, right? Yeah. So it's like... Um, percentage based damage. Yeah, so the Bloodseeker is very happy with that. Bloodseeker oh God, happy to make a move on a Z-Freak who slides into the lane and straight to the grave. Z-Freak's doing a good job, though, up here, like, stalling them from taking this tower. Dyer's like, how hard has this tower been to take for rooms? They've been yeah. up here for the they last 10 minutes. They have Bloodseeker and Ember, who are two of the absolute most garbage heroes Dyer's at pushing Dyer's towers, Dyer's the yeah, head of, like, the current rough. popular ones. Dyer's it's pretty damn rough. They fort it. They haven't even used fort yet. Damn, Boris has the full spear puzzle now. Radiant's sure middle does. Tower Ranch. Well, they're finally top able to bring down that top tier one tower. But the they pressure lost continues the tier two cool. tower and mid. Yeah. Yeah. Mid, mid is opened up though. Not only any tier two, the mid tier two. Like that's that's rough. I like what PA is doing, just saying fuck you, Magnus. He's not playing <laughs> near her, so she's building a battle fury for herself. That's some like passive aggressive pub stuff going <laughs> on. I'm telling you, man, there's internal conflicts with Gorg Sea. Like he's standing, he was getting zoned at the start. He's like, you know what, I don't want to play this game right now. He gets off of Discord or whatever they're playing on. He's just uh he's playing a pub. So they're gonna have a stand in for a stand in for a stand in. Yeah, he's getting Game kicked. Two. Gorks, he's getting he's kicked. Done. <laughs> All right, good catch. Arrow, Fiend's Grip, the whole kit and caboodle. And then a smoke follow up comes out. That's great, because they get that kill without the RP, and now they can smoke with it. And they know any any fight that they take here is a good fight. Literally any fight, any pickoff whatsoever. I mean, obviously they want the Wyvern, because he can turn the fight, but. Oh, BC hit Blade Mail. Whoops. Oh, that's not a. That's. I think he was trying to quelling blade that. Oh, center. there's the wyvern. Move in. Ruptures out onto limp. Jube tries to save himself, but they are going to be able to go for the finish to follow up. RP is going to be secure for BSJ, and they begin to wipe apart. Boris goes in to help them secure the full team wipe. And it's Gork who's going to grab both of them up. Complexity, huge. Yeah, huge Magnus fight. is not a target you want to RP. You use, I mean, not the, the RP to um, use the Rupture on because if you get close, he can just RP, he can skewer, has Yule Scepter, so a lot of uh, sustain in team fight, also has almost 3000 HP. Yeah, he doesn't. He just doesn't really care that much. Yeah, what, what's 5 1 to 10? What's interesting to me is the fact that uh, Rune stayed there. Like, they, w with how they were positioning, they knew that there was a smoke coming into them. Yeah. They they don't have their Ember Spirit and yet they still choose to take that fight. That that seems to me like I think um, they thought they'd be coming in with Moonlight Shadow and they, they could cast them off guard with the sentry. Probably. Yeah, maybe. And then BSJ trying to save the Wyvern. It's like your Wyvern gets gone on, you just sack the fight. Like that's not gonna be a winning fight. But uh um, that's just what happens when you're at such a disadvantage at this point. It the game gets really awkward, you you're not really hundred percent sure what to do. Yeah, they're just getting pulled apart like that. Radiant's yeah, so something like they're just leaving that bottom tower. Yeah, that is that is interesting. I guess they just think that it's like a free tower. They don't need to commit to pushing it out. Like it's gonna push in anyway because they have the tier one available. So 
They're just looking more to fight, take the other towers. All right, moves being made under the Moonlight Shadow. The quick hit job right there of Jube is in the ancient camp. It looks like a follow-up target onto Boris Ooh. as well. It's Roche time now. They don't have a tier two tower on mid anymore, so they can easily go go for it. The other lanes are pretty much pushed. They're nowhere at the bottom tower. Huh. Looks like Jube is worried about that potentially. Oh, so close to saving BSJ. Not quite there though, unfortunately. Here comes Annihilate. He is going to be able to at least snipe up Z Freak there. Snake Kick leaps out. Him and Limp trying to square up. Annihilate dodges out the arrow, but they got the Yules. RP is ready. Oh, oh no! Not going to be there. Nice quick slight. He has a spirit slot. dodge it. He's oh, out of remnants. Jumping from behind though. Oh, Danny! Gets him. They tag the shrine. Monkeys tags in now. Needs a bit of damage. Going to be forced to pull out the ulti. Oh, that was not ideal. No cold Runes. embrace, full HP. Runes may hold their own bit of ground for now. Oh, Mag's limping. Bounties. Get him out of there. Get the Mag's bounties. limping. That was nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just got that one. Well played. <laughs> Complexity pick up the runes. I think they could have just gone for a Roche. They even had a double damage rune. They could have left that oh, for a PA. You're definitely right. I think this is one of those games where it's like you just have such an advantage. Like, all right, guys, let's just go end. Kind of, kind of pubby stuff going on. <laughs> trying so hard to make that play. Limp on route. Does he want to blink over this. the high ground? Yep. Rubik against uh, Weaver. Oh. Both of them using Shukuchi, trying to catch the other, but you really can't. <laughs> <laughs> it's awkward. You know what I think perfectly encapsulate em uh, encapsulates Envy's personality? Oh wait, we'll tell them. There's a, some stuff happening. Oh, yeah, no. they're cheeking in. Look to get the snipe on the oh, Wyvern, and they got god. it. Oh my god, they got the Weaver. Who? Oh. All right. What is up? Like 100% cleave with the cleave talent and the beat fury. Ah, uh, he went for armor corruption. Oh, he did. Oh man. What a wuss. And don't do this. Oh, they got him. The sleeve no skewered. Oh, what would happen if Magnus? Saw that he was gonna uh, unsleep him and uh, use the old scepter while he's scoring. Scoors finish and do the damage, or would it stop? I think it would finish. I think I've seen the animation go without the Magnus. I think it does finish. I'll test it after. Here comes Complexity looking to put a lid on game number one of King's Cup here. Jump in, there's the RP. And that's one to go down, and that's two. That means the whole team is gonna be sitting in the graveyard. Watching this one from afar as Complexity wipe out their full mid lane set of racks. 20k net with advantage. Gentlemen, this may be it. This seems almost it insurmountable. It definitely yeah. feels like the last the last 10 minutes has just been total chaos from, from runes. Like they just aren't used to playing uh, a team of this caliber from such a network disadvantage, essentially. Like I've been in this scenario where you're just so behind and they're just everywhere that you are trying to go to come back. And it's like, you don't even know how to. You're not. You can't even play regular Dota. Like yeah. it just doesn't work. They're playing so fast. Yes, it's 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 very it's so it makes it look like Runes is is playing a lot worse than they are. They're playing yeah. very well. It's just that they're like, playing against a very that very whole good example like where they just left that bottom tower. Like where do they go? They instantly like it looked like any most teams would have just like stayed there, waited for the wave to come through, and destroyed that tower. But they just instantly went to where they knew they'd be farming if they thought right. they were going to stay to take right, that tower, exactly. and they kill three more heroes. Right. It's and it's like they're. Uh, but I also think that's a mistake from Runes because they're not pushing tier two towers, so you should know something is up. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Ooh, okay, catch out possibly for Limp. Oh, he stole the fight over the yeah. stole the Curse is taken from Z Freak just on the outside. I'm sure that's been communicated over on Runes' front, but they're still looking to make a possible approach. Nice oh, BSJ does have a Lincoln Sphere. Z Freak on the low ground, jumping from Annihilate. Good catch of damage, and they get the finish with the assistance from Monkeys. They will shoot down Z Freak. No curse to fear. God. A Whoa. good catch of the arrow. Slide on out, scooting away from the trouble. Annihilate solo making it to the high ground and tries oh, to make it away, but they chase him down. Snaking in the meanwhile. Double kill for him, looking to clean out the rest. It looks like complexity may just be a bit too yoked Dude, this time. I swear to God, every single time I look at Envy, he just has a bug on him and he's completely ignoring it, just focusing on like the fights that are happening. Yeah. I feel like that 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 perfectly fits his personality, where he's there's just this bug like eating the crap out of him. He's just like like telling people what to do in the fights and like telling people to go and he's totally ignoring it. Twenty percent HP because the bug's killing him. He just doesn't care. He's so focused on just killing people. 
Yeah, yeah, as a grip, he's Jameis. gonna do it. Arrow uh, flying. Nah. Yo! He's afraid that it's not gonna. Yeah. 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 Oh. The timing was so close. Yeah, I think he probably would have missed if he didn't grip. Rune's That's gotta be so frustrating if you're Boris. Like, you know they're roaching, and yet Envy's there picking you so off because he knows he can do that without being punished. Guardian for anyone who considers approaching the Roche camp at all. Complexity just feeling that far ahead at this moment, but they still have to get to the grindstone. We have tier twos to still finish out. And what about the high ground of runes? Is it respectable enough to kind of hold things out for at least a bit? Oh my oh. God, by the way, we just <laughs> witnessed a homicide on camera. Oh Jesus. Oh my God. There goes their high ground. I mean, they have some spam, right? They have Wyvern spam, they have Bloodseeker spam, yeah. they have an Ember. Bugs. Dude, I, I know exactly yeah. what Danny is saying in, in his in, in Discord. He's like, he just gripped me from full HP! Like, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> he just does this really high-pitched, confused voice. I mean, that is that is a that is a yikes moment for sure. Okay, Boris also going to be going down. Snaking will pay the price, though. BSJ creeps in and nabs that one. Monkeys is joining his side, but BSJ... It's also going to get finished off. It looks like Gork has really come online at this point <laughs> and is just kind of clearing house. Your stand-in uh, of a stand is now godlike with a double kill. BSJ got ruptured from Z Freak, so he turned on his blade mail and just started running because <laughs> he oh knew he was going to die, so he wanted to kill Z Freak. <laughs> That's a classic right there. Dude, have you seen Weaver blade mail versus Bloodseeker? You just yeah. turn the blade mail on, run, and then use your ulti, and then it just double damage to him. Oh. Like insta kills a Bloodseeker. That's actually pretty cheap. It's pretty sure. hilarious. Blade Mail Weaver, but still, that's pretty high. Phantom Assassin is level 25. Oh my god, that crit. He almost got one hit. <laughs> Blood left from his illusion on that one. Yeah. Second and set to go down. I mean, when it's time to call it, Dakota, right, it's time to call it. They want to fight it out, though. Runes, never say die, at least for now, or at least maybe they're thinking ahead to game number two. Yeah, dude, he owned know. that Manta illusion. Like, come on, there's hope. Oh, what do those pings say to us? They're they're having fun, you know. They're having a good time. <laughs> At what point? How, how many games do you think that they would, they would have to play against complexity like this, where they're actually just pissed off with each other and fighting? I know for sure that they're like joking around. Like Bor those are Boris pings, so he's he's screwing around. But at a certain point. At a certain point, it's not very fun getting At a certain point, it's not fun, yeah. yeah. It's, it's like the novelty wears off, and it's like, I gotta kill this Eternal Envy guy. Oh All right, this God. could be real bad. They're trying to smoke move on in, but there's a Moonlight Shadow from Radiant Complexity's front. Awesome. It looks like maybe runes are privy to it, though. They've already made the retreat, but the chase continues from Complexity. Looking to grab anyone they can. The dust flies out, and it looks like they've nabbed the Banana Man. They grab him up and pull him back and zap him down. Godlike streak continues here. Snakey could be in a bit of trouble. Looking to fight it down with monkeys. Monkeys, though, will get the last lap in the end there. Gets that finish. Meanwhile, down and below, Limp will get hit up with the rupture. Hides on the side, but that's where monkeys is on the high ground. Bending him down. Meanwhile, Z Freak finished off from Boris. BSJ looking to get right back in, but my god, he's way too much damage oh, from Gork. Oh, Limp! He's just slaughtering him now. Oh, the Yules? He barely it. holding on with the Yules, but ultimately will go down. Gork cleans things up in the end. Oh, it's it's a four for four. One v fight each other. Come on. Yeah, I it's think just it's you time. two left. Gork's going in. He wants it. You one v one for sure. He's like, I got, I got an Aegis. Oh, let's go. Get let's that go. courier. Yeah, dude, fight. Dude, one v one me, bro. Oh my god. Oh, careful now. Monkeys. Oh, you fight, can't fight, 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 fight. No. Oh, monkeys. <laughs> ah! The back up. The crit's not there. Oh, the oh wyvern, monkeys. The wyvern oh. can't help. That's not fair. <laughs> I don't know. I think 28k. You get one. Well, maybe. You get maybe, one yeah. spell. He's like, he's, he's tapping him in, or whatever it is in wrestling, I don't know. Oh, Boris buys back. Roll, Monkey. kick! Can he? It's too late. Uh, Did he go? Late, yeah. Yeah. You can kick while rolling, but in the distance in the slow moving rock it's now. It's so it slow. Been, it would have been tough. But, fighters they are. At least we saw monkeys win the 1v1. That's true. It's there true. is hope. Very true. There is hope. They can kill the PA. If it comes down to those kind of circumstances, <laughs> EPA is completely <laughs> alone. Has yeah. probably lost in power. <laughs> yeah, he picked up the Monkey King bar. And he's just like, this is my moment. Every moonlight shadow, oh, when it's up, Andy. complexity are on the move with it, trying to get something done. That's 25 pounds. So annoying. Arrow. That's five second arrow. Oh, more than both enough. cores go down. Both don't have buyback either. 
What do you do? What do you do now? You hold out, get a rapier on Ember Spirit. Tuck your head between your knees. And we just Pray. got a plus 100 damage reduction, too. Makes you a sad boy. Oh my god. Yeah, even with the rapier. Radiance <laughs> middle tower is under attack. Do all that much. Just cancels the rapier. Yeah. <laughs> it basically does a spell. <laughs> he needs to get a rapier so that he does damage at all. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> Final hurrah here for Runes as Complex is looking to go for the finish. Tier three's brought down. The final fight is Among oh, Us. Lip oh, will get a swing and a miss on the RP. What, what hit him? The Shivas and instant Oh, attack. the Shivas. Yeah. Grip though there onto I Annihilate. Looking to go for the Vision Ember. And there it is. Boris rolls in and will not be rolling back out. And it looks like it's going to be Complexity securing the first game of this two-game series and the first win of King's Cup. All right. Man, they're, they're the kings for no now. No one lives here. Complete shutout, kick out, and uh, Jubi with a pause, <laughs> not disconnect, just straight-up pause. <laughs> he actually – Just a BM he pause. He actually manually <laughs> paused the game. Yeah. Just a flat-out, yeah. good old traditional NA Dota pause. You know pause, what? Once he slammed his keyboard and hit the pause button. <laughs> You can't screw around in a game like this. <laughs> well, all right. I gotta say, they went into that game looking pretty confident versus Magnus because they left it in. Or at least they felt Magnus would be better than TA, and Limp shredded that game. Yeah, that was he, uh, his early game rotations were. He didn't even play so with the good. PA. No, he, he was just playing with, Mag. He was just playing Mag. Yeah, that was a. Uh, what do you guys think? That was that was a stomp. Yeah, it's like I I feel bad. I, I hate to be the one that points to a team and says, well, that didn't work or this didn't work, but, you know, I look that's to, like... That's why I'm here, right? I look to the... That's your job. Yeah, I look to the Earth Spirit, <laughs> and it's, like, with the set they had, he, he's not really to come online early at all, and it just feels like they're in this waiting period that we hope that these three cores come online at some point. At least one, maybe, will be able to kind of be the iron head forward for all yeah. of us. I would say if both teams were equally skilled, that... Uh, Radiant lineup would probably win 80%, even more of the games. They just did not have enough control inside of Complexity. That's why I favored the the lineup of Runes, but definitely comp Complexity, a better team. I uh, agree. And uh, both of the supports were under-leveled. Winter Wyvern hit level 6 at around 15-minute mark, which is not, not that great. So they were relying on a combo from Bloodseeker to make something happen. It just didn't really work it out. It kind of felt like both of their side lanes got sacked. Yeah. Like yeah, the Bloodseeker oh yeah. had a really bad start, and the Weaver had a pretty I, bad start. I think this is just like the typical, you play against a team that is Tier 1. They're very, very good. They make a couple of really good moves, gain a huge advantage from it, and then they never lose that advantage, and they keep pressuring it. Um, I agree with the cost in the sense that like if they were equally skilled, e maybe equally practiced, obviously Runes has a star-studded lineup. You know, they're, they're very capable. They obviously need a lot more practice. It's been like two weeks. Um, complexity's been on the seat. Th these players have been on the scene for so long, tier one. So if like if, if they were closer match at skill, I think definitely that match wouldn't look so bad. So based on like the scenario you put up, what would we think? What would we think would be more realistic for a team like Runes when you're going against Complexity and now you have a team that's really good and polished and they're starting to pull an advantage? Do you look back and feel like that you need to polish your own game so that you can get at that level and continue to match with them, or do you start working on how you can catch holes in Complexity's game and then take advantage of them? I think there's I think there's two ways that you can go about. Uh, uh, beating complexity in this scenario where you you just understand that they're the superior team if you're going to play regular Dota and then you just play Total Chaos. You just go with like your own personal style of Dota. Uh, and then there's also, you could just pick a strategy that you're very, very used to. Um, well, I guess I can't. Like Broodmother. Vin Brood yeah, Bro Broodmother, exactly. Like first phase Brood, when I, Like when I played on Vendetta, we had, you know, like typical first phase picks that we would do. I guess I won't say because it's the script that they're playing in this. But but there's, you know, t these typical drafts that we would do. We would do very well with them. Then there's stuff that we would practice and be okay with. Yeah. And we would do that against, like, the lower skilled teams maybe to just uh, maybe not reveal stuff, to practice. Also because you don't want to just be doing the same thing every game. Against a complexity, you want something you're very, very good with because if you leave any holes in, in the strategy – or in the draft, they're going to take advantage of it, and then they're not going to lose an advantage. So it's just uh, you, you, you need to basically do one of those two things. You either play Total Chaos or play something you're very, very good at that you're not going to essentially like screw up rotations, give them an advantage where they shouldn't have it. Because like you said, they yeah. sack two lanes. Yeah. That should never happen in Dota yeah. right now. Well, you What's up happy for Gork? Uh, yeah, you had a great game. I want to see him play in a team. 
Like I'm tired of him just being a Do good player and a streamer. Do you know if he wants to play in a team? You I'm know? not sure. I'm uh, not yeah, sure. But it's like, uh, is he enjoying his streaming thing? Probably. Is he wanna, I mean, Seems he, to be. Yeah, I mean, he's yeah. doing yeah. the core thing. He's he he was well. on his own most of that time. It but looks like they slept on him a bit, and he got to show up late game and have a lot of fun. But he's yeah. so skilled. That's why I want to see him play for, for the real team. What's his rank? Uh, probably top ten. Top ten. Okay, probably. so he's like in, in in Europe, right? Yeah. yeah. So he's insane. So, so, that's so like he's insanely good. So that's yeah. basically, yeah. Or that's that's basically like, like no, top that's 200 like NA. That's top 200 <laughs> yeah. NA. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Top 200 NA, top yeah. 100 SEA, top 10 yeah. Europe. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Wait, was, that, was that pro America or not? Because you you may piss <laughs> off Grant a lot when he gets here. Because man, Grant quite is gonna beat you up when he Math shows. Of course, like oh, top ten Europe. Okay, so he'll he'll maybe make the top 100 in NA probably. Yeah. Yeah. No, that would be the grant logic there. All right, guys. No, I probably would. Game number one is done for King's Cup. This is a two-game series after all, so we're going to be cutting to a break. When we come back, we'll hop into game two of Runes versus Complexity. We'll see you then.